Timothy Brown had both HIV and leukemia. He had a bone marrow transplant to treat the cancer and when he recovered it was discovered the HIV was no longer detectable. Scientists were reluctant to call it a cure but now two more men, both who had HIV and blood cancer, have had a similar treatment and seen similar results. All three were given high doses of chemotherapy and radiation. This killed off their existing sick bone marrow, the body's blood factory. Healthy stem cells taken from a donor's bone marrow were then put into their blood in a process like a blood transfusion. These stem cells then found their way to the bones and started to grow and produce healthy blood cells. By continuing antiretroviral therapy during the time of the transplant, we could protect these otherwise susceptible cells from becoming HIV infected. These cells then wiped out the immune system of the patients, replacing the immune system with these healthy donor cells that were uninfected and thereby eliminating HIV. Antiretroviral drugs, which suppress the virus and stop it from spreading within the body, were continued after the transplant. Now, though, the two men have been off them, one for 15 weeks, the other for seven. And still, there are no signs the virus has returned. It's an encouraging sign and one that gives hope to many. Bit by bit, we are getting more knowledge, we're getting more information about different approaches which can be used to be able to either eradicate HIV from the body or effectively stop HIV from being passed on. And that has to be good news in terms of the global fight against HIV. But the researchers are keen to stress the technique is not a cure. They would want to wait until the men have been off their antiretroviral drugs for at least a year before making that call. They also admit that it can't be offered to all HIV sufferers. Bone marrow transplants are expensive and up to half of those who have them die. The transplant procedure itself is, uh, uh, carries with it significant risks, is really limited to patients who have cancer and require a transplant to treat their cancer. But I think we can learn from this experience and find ways of applying elements of what we've done in other settings that may apply much more broadly. For Timothy Brown, the promising results have also had a much more personal dimension. If they're cured, they're going to be um, other people that will add to the club of people cured of HIV, which is very small right now. His recovery signalled a possible new approach to tackling HIV. If two more cases can be added to that success story, the researchers say they will be one step closer in the search for a cure. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.